Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl Amanda, the buzzed artist. Welcome to my channel, a place where you can unlock your creativity and just have fun with acrylic paint. And also, can I just say, happy November! And the month of magic is November because birthdays in that month, Thanksgiving's in that month, all the fun holiday madness starts happening. Yay, commercialism! This painting that we're going to be doing today is a little bit different than we usually do. This is more like an impressionist painting, and it is of a fall scene in the woods. There's a clear little path with a lot of vibrant looking fall trees, all of which have all their leaves finally turning those beautiful, vibrant fall colors. I am so excited to show you guys how to do this one. So be sure to grab your paints, grab your supplies, and meet me. We're gonna go ahead and do this. And before we get started, please be sure to like this video and to subscribe to my channel so that you'll be able to see more videos from me in the future. Um, um. Let's so go. So some of you guys commented about the camera angle that I was painting my pictures, uh, my paintings with. Um, it is a little tricky. I still don't have the right camera stands that I need, but I decided I'm going to experiment a little bit here and uh, actually duct tape my camera to my stand. This is because I love you guys and I hope that this freaking works. <laughs> Check out this hag job right here. This, this is ghetto. ghetto. So we're gonna see how this layout works for us. And uh, if y'all don't like it, well, we're Figure something out. Okay, so before we get started, I just wanted to show you a couple of the, ingre the ingredients. <laughs> we're gonna baking cake today. Uh, we're gonna I'm gonna show you the um, materials I will be using. So for colors, I'm gonna be using all the colors of the rainbow. So I got some Mars black, primary yellow, primary red, titanium white, and uh, Fidel la 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 whatever blue. <laughs> I can never remember the name of this one, but I only need a very 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 tiny amount of blue. If you don't have blue, don't worry about it. You can use the other colors in your palette. And I'm gonna be using, um, I don't want this one. I'm gonna be using three different brushes. Um, I'm gonna be using a wide angle brush, uh, Filbert. And um, I'm gonna be using a medium sized brush and a small brush. Uh, I'll be using this on 11 by 14 canvas. So you can find all the, all the links to the materials that I've used in the description below. And I got my water and I got my towel and now I'm ready to go and paint. What we're gonna start with first is we're gonna take our filbert brush, dip them in water. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take a little bit of white. Actually, can you see the palette from what I'm doing? No, you can't, okay, so I'm gonna do this. We're gonna take a little bit of white and I'm gonna take a little bit of blue. You don't really need that much blue in this one to be honest. And then we're gonna take some, whoop, we're gonna take some yellow. So I wanna make like this kind of like pale green. Okay, so once I got that, once I got that color going, okay, I'm going to just with my brush go straight across just like so. Okay, so I'm just going to take my brush um, broadside down and I'm just going to spread the color across just like so. And I'm dipping it into my water just to kind of lighten it up a little bit. Okay. And I'm just gonna do like a strip. Oops, and I hit the camera and probably screwed up the entire perspective, oh well. This is why we experiment. Okay, so I'm feeling in a very kooky mood today. <laughs> All right, and because it's just a great day to be alive. How about that? So I'm just going to keep spreading this color, maybe to like right around here or so. Yeah, yeah, like that, okay. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. So if you wanna kind of like lighten this part up on the top here, because I don't wanna go all the way up, um, I'm just gonna take some white and then I'm just going to lay that color down and kind of um, bring it up into the canvas and down into our green, okay? So this is just my way of um, kind of blending the color from the top part here so it's not like a stark like boundary of color. Okay, so when it comes to blending, 
I should make I should make a tiny tutorial about blending um, very quick but basically it's just wet on wet and you just want to carry your brush over the two colors like in broad strokes that's kind of how I like to blend blending is great when you have wet colors working together so keep that in mind okay so I'm pretty happy with this part so now what I'm gonna do next is Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make like a not like a very like burnt orange. So I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a little bit of red on my filbert. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of yellow. Then I'm gonna mix those two colors together. And this this happens to be a little too bright, so I'm gonna take a little bit of blue this time. I got this suggestion from um, one of my subscribers and I thought this was such a great idea. So adding a little bit of blue does kind of add a cooler color. And when I say cooler, not like cool, like, ooh, you're so cool. It's more like a, um, like a very like toned down, um, almost like a darker perspective. All right, so this is the kind of color I wanna go for. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to the sides of my canvas and I'm just gonna go ahead and add that color. I'm very, very, very lightly just brushing the sides of my painting with this color very lightly. And I'm just spreading it. Because the paint is still wet, ding, 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 it's great for blending. So I'm just gonna probably, I'm not gonna paint the whole entire um, strip that we previously laid down. I'm just gonna kinda go halfway to kinda set my landscape. This is where we're gonna be making that horizon. Uh, or at least where the ground ends and the sky begins. So this is kind of where I'm gonna lay it down. Okay. Um, you know what, I may have set it a little too high. Yeah, okay. Um, and now what I'm gonna do, mistakes, it happens, right? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rinse my filbert, because now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a, lot, a little bit of black. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that same color like we used before. I'm gonna add a little bit of black to it and mix those two together. Okay. So I wanna get like a nice dark color. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to the bottom and cover that with the black. Okay. And again, wet on wet, I'm just gonna bring the black up a little bit into what we laid down previously so it blends nicely. And now I'm just gonna kind of carry the color up this way. So this is kind of making like a semblance of a path, if you will. See, so I'm just kind of loading my brush. And I'm just gonna go kind of like, I'm not gonna go the whole, the whole way up where the red ends. I'm just gonna kind of stop it around there, so. there and I'm being very broad with these strokes um, I'm not really looking to do anything big with this yet or I mean anything small oops keep hitting the camera oh my lord all right um, and maybe just a little bit more black here All right, cool. So what I'm gonna do is I realized that um, I may have gone a little too high with the red. So I'm gonna let this dry and I'm gonna go back in with the green. Now, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to grab my green again. I'm just gonna go back in, paint over that red. Might add a little bit more white to that so I can help make it opaque. There we go. That's kind of what I'm going for. I realized I went a little too high with the red, so um, just fixing that up a little bit is just the right touch. Okay. Yeah, I didn't want the red to be too, too overpowering. I did want to have some elements of green kind of peeking through, so. All right, I think that's great, awesome. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add more detail. So I'm gonna go and move on to my medium-sized brush. 
I'm gonna dip them in some water. And I'm gonna make the color orange. So I'm gonna dip my paint, uh, my brush in some red, and I'm gonna take a big glob of yellow. I want, so basically I like to make, um, I wanna make this, this yellow, uh, excuse me, this orange a little bit more like orangey, which means I, I wanna add a lot more yellow than red. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put those colors together and mix them. So you got a nice, nice, uh, very vibrant kind of color, like very good for, for the, the, the fall and the November kind of uh, landscape. So. so I'm just gonna go ahead and just add in some of that detail here. Now, I'm not like doing large brush strokes. I'm actually kind of doing like little dots, if you will. So I'm just kind of gonna go add I'm just kind of tapping my brush and kind of dragging it a little bit. I want kind of essences of this color. I don't really want like huge, um, um, like strokes of it, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Bloop. So I'm just gonna drag it out onto the, onto the black of the road here. So if you imagine like a, a fall strewn kind of day, there is a lot of like, there's a lot of foliage and a lot of stuff just kind of like on the road itself. Um, and it's all like messy. So, you know, there's not, there's not like a neat little pile here and a neat little pile there. They're, they're everywhere. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and, and kind of break the boundary between um, the green and where the red are. Okay, that's, that's all it is. It's just like playing around. Okay, so. I'm gonna add a couple strokes like here. Okay. I don't wanna like cluster a lot in the middle, just um, just a come, you know, a couple here and there. Okay. Next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and play with some like really light versions of orange. So I'm gonna take a lot of, ye of yellow, the tiniest little dip of red. Okay, I just want the essence. And then I'm going to take some uh, white and I'm going to combine those two together. And maybe a little bit more yellow. Okay. So this is going to be like a nice, um, like it's got the slightest bit of red in it. So it's like a nice burnt um, yellow. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the same thing. Same, same kind of strokes like we did with our orange. Um, so I'm just going to like take my brush and kind of like disperse it around. And I'm going to do the same kind of thing here as well. Okay. And I'm just going to be like spreading out the paint a little bit, adding strokes here and there and everywhere. Okay. Again, I'm adding some on the top. I want to create like a, like a very abundant looking like foliage scene. There's like, there's so much going on. I don't want to leave, you know, I don't want to make it seem sparse because that's not really what fall is. Fall is like a very abundant, like a lot of colors are hitting you all at once type of thing, so. Okay, awesome. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on like the foliage that's kind of in the background. And this is more like a, like kind of like a gray tone. So I'm just gonna take some white and add a tiny bit of black to it. So I'm gonna make, just a little bit. So I'm gonna make like a bit of a, of a gray. And if you have blue, I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of blue and a tiny bit of yellow so I can kind of make like a green hint, a green tinge if you will. Okay, if you don't, don't worry about it. Gray is just as fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go in to where the green is and I'm kind of spreading that color out. Again, sporadically. The name of the game here is sporadic. Um, you're gonna probably just spaz all over your canvas. That's kind of what I'm looking for here. 
okay? Because you're gonna be adding like lots of color on top of color on top of color, okay? So this is like a little different than what we've usually painted. Um, you know, this is kind of like, it's more um, like an impressionist um, style. It's like what, it's like quote unquote what would, would belong in a museum of sorts. So uh, I'm also gonna make sure to take whatever color I had laid down previously and kind of spread it up. Um, it, so it looks like, you know, you got some, some um, trees and foliage and whatnot just kind of like coming up. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a little bit of white and take a little bit of, oops, bring it over here. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit of white. Just a little bit, a little bit of black, because I wanna make a great color. Okay, and I'm just gonna go ahead and intersperse that color. Now, once again, if you are if you were working with gray previously, I just want a lighter version of that color. That's really all I'm looking for. I want, I'm looking for a variety. Um, I do wanna see some stuff happening around this area. So a little white can go a long way. Okay. Now this is all, this is really all this gonna be like a lot of background stuff happening. Okay. And I'm, I'm kind of like clustering that, that like really lighter gray around this like opening right here. Now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna just take, I'm gonna just take some white on my brush and I'm gonna go like right to where you think the green and the um, black of the road kind of meet. And I'm just gonna go ahead and with my, with my brush, just kind of create a couple strokes in the middle, just like so. Okay. This could be as messy as you want it to be. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a couple of strokes and I'm going to lay them out on the path here. Okay. I don't want too, too much. I just want a little bit. Okay. I want the semblance of like the, that there's some sort of path that's happening here. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and actually just go back in here and add like a couple more um, strokes just to kind of add a little bit of, um, you know, contrast and like a layering effect. So I just went in with my black. I just like loaded my brush with some black and I kind of just went in there. Kind of broke up some of the color there. Okay. And probably what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to probably put in some like some yellow back in. So I'm gonna take that yellow uh, that we made earlier. Basically, just a recap, it's like a, it's like a lot of yellow, a lot of white, and just a little bit of red. Okay, so I'm just gonna add a little bit here, a little bit here. Okay. Okay, same thing with the orange. I'm just gonna take my, my orange brush, load it up, and apply it just like so. Okay. Okay, and don't stress out. Don't stress out if you're like you're not really like seeing what's going on. It's all gonna kind of make sense when you start putting in trees. So, um, and it, you know, don't worry about it if you're not quite getting it, okay? So like, you may just wanna wait until this all completely dries and then you can kind of go back in later um, and fix things up, okay? So I'm just gonna go very lightly, very lightly, kind of just like, kind of just like tapping it a little bit. I wanna create some semblance of a road. Yeah, so now I'm just taking my brush and like with the tip of it and I'm just very lightly going towards the middle so I can create some semblance of a path happening. Okay. Just like so. Cool, that actually looks really, really pretty. So it's kind of like this dragged looking effect and I'm probably gonna do a little bit of that with this stuff on the side here. 
So it doesn't look like doesn't look like, you know, you did everything on purpose, I suppose. So you don't see like the brush strokes as like intensely. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the trees. Let me just check to make sure we're still on and running. Oh, look how pretty it looks so nice from the camera. Okay, so um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna stick with our brush here. I just, I just cleaned it. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to I'm gonna make black. So I'm just gonna take my brush and I'm gonna I'm gonna make black, aka dip my brush in black. Okay, so I got my brush nicely loaded. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make trees. And the trees are gonna be kind of going along the road here, and there's gonna be primarily those trees. So I'm gonna start with just the small ones just to kind of get a little acquainted. Um, really, all you do when you want to do trees is you just want to take your brush, use the tip, and very slowly move your brush up in a straight line. Okay? That's it. And another one on this side here. Just like so. Okay. And do another tree right next to it. Okay. Don't worry if they're not like really popping out yet. That's kind of what I'm looking for. I, I um, as trees kind of are going into the center, they start to fade. And that's kind of what, um, that's kind of the effect I want to go for. All right, awesome. And I'm gonna do this tree here. Again, we're just doing straight lines, nothing crazy. Nothing too intense. This one is a little thicker than the previous ones. Nothing, nothing intense, nothing crazy. I'm gonna change my mind, I want this to be a big tree. So once again, just making a line, it's thicker, and moving it up, just like so. Just like so. Okay, I'm gonna do another one. This time I'm just, uh, I'm kind of angling out the trees so that I can, you know, pretty much see what's happening with them. So, you know, I'm making my tree here and then I'm moving a little bit uh, to the left and adding in another tree trunk. So I'm gonna just go ahead and add this in. All right, this one's a little bit bigger. Moving this one up, up to the unpainted part of our canvas. It's getting real, yo. And you know what, I'm gonna take the previous tree as well and extend that up as well. Okay, so this one, yeah, I think this one I'm gonna end it right here. Okay, because all this is gonna get covered in branches anyways, uh, excuse me, leaves and branches and whatnot. Okay, and then I'm gonna make one final tree. Um, <laughs> no, actually no, I, I think on this side he's okay. So I'm just going to take him um, and I'm gonna do like a split in him actually. So I'm gonna start it towards this area here and I'm just gonna make a split in the tree and move it up. And move it up, 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 off into the canvas, just like so. And you know what? While we're here, I'm gonna show you how to make those branches. So I'm gonna move on to my smallest brush. I'm gonna dip it in some water. And once again, I'm gonna dip it in some black. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to go to where I ended that branch. And um, if you watch my previous videos, whenever it comes to making branches, all you wanna think about is the Y. You wanna make a Y shape. So I'm making, so I have that, that first branch here. And then I'm gonna choose, I'm probably gonna go start another branch right around here. So I'm gonna move my brush out, just like so. And that makes a Y shape. See that, you see how it makes that Y right here? Or V. Um, and then I'm just gonna do another Y shape coming out of there. 
And、um, the thing to remember about branches:、uh, branches are thick at the base, so it's, it's thick where they kind of come out, but they thin out、um, at the tips. Okay, so when you that's pretty much all you need to know when it comes to branches. You know, make sure you make them nice and thick at the at the bases here. So I'm just making this one nice and thick, and then it kind of branches out that way. And let's see. So let's do another one right around here. So I'm gonna make another one. It's coming out like this. And branches could be like any shape and size, honestly.、Um, like they could be all these weird kind of crooked angles and stuff, and that's that's kind of what we're looking for. Okay, making another Y coming out this way. And I'm gonna connect the two. Okay, see how it gets? It got bigger as it as it hits the base of this trunk here. That is the essence of a tree. Okay. All right. Awesome. Mind you, I'm just using black for this. So now I'm just gonna make another branch coming out this way. And I'm just making sure my brush is really wet the entire time that I'm doing this. Okay. And I'm going to move on to the other trees in the background that I already did. That I'm just going to go ahead and add branches to them. So I'm going to probably add a branch like right around here, and it's coming out this way. Okay. And same, the same kind of principle. There's like a Y shape that happens. So I'm just, just kind of adjusting the trunk of the tree to suit that, and that's totally, that's totally fine. You can adjust and tweak, and you know, just do what you feel is the right thing to do with your tree、um, to make it, to give it sense, to give it like what it would typically look like in a setting such as this. So I'm making another branch coming out this way. This tree, and I'm making the branches like all intertwined together.、Um, you know, they're all blending together.、Um, that's that's what creates like this really cool effect. You know what? I'm gonna make I'm gonna make this tree taller. And it's good that I got my smaller brush for this part now because now I can I can kind of be in more control of this. Okay. And then I'm just going to take my brush again, do the Y. Okay,、I'm、repeating myself so many times, but I don't care. That's that's exactly what we want to do. I want to keep repeating this to you guys. You guys are going to be experts by the time we're done. Okay.、And、I'm just adding some more meat body to our tree, and I'm adding more paint to my arm. Yay! Uh, I feel like everything I own now is covered in paint, like phones and shoes and jackets. I don't even know how it got on my jacket. It happens. Art happens.、Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna make this tree a little taller as well. Right, right on, right on, right on. Very cool. And you know what? While we're at it, I'm probably gonna make just a couple tree trunks、uh, in the background here. So I'm just gonna make a line. Again, just using my small brush. Make another little line over here somewhere. It's this is just stuff. This is just stuff to kind of like. Draw the eye to add more、um, depth perception. Okay. So,、um, yeah, I'm just gonna add a little bit of like a, a fillet, <laughs> kind of like that that nice shoop, shape to the trunk of the tree meeting the ground. That's kind of what trees do. If you ever notice, next time you go look at a tree, observe how it connects to the ground. It's sometimes sometimes it could be straight, but sometimes. They could have a bit of curve. Okay, isn't that everything in life? 
Okay, awesome. Very cool. So I'm going to do the same on the other side, okay? So the other side, um, now I'm not, I'm not one for like total symmetry on both sides, like for trees. Like I like how they could be different on both ends. Um, so I'm not going to make ones exactly like this on this side. I'm going to add a little bit of variety. So I'm going to add a branch here. Okay. Again, I'm making sure my brush is wet so I can control the tips there. And again, when it comes to branches, you can you can go wild with these. Um, you know, if you feel like you want to put another branch with another like Y branch coming out of it, take that intuition and go with it. All right, that's what I want you to do. All right, I made another tree right here. You can always go back to your medium sized brush for this part. Um, I just I'm just too lazy to go back to it. I've already committed to this one. I'm gonna stick with it. <laughs> Anybody ever feel that way? You get so lazy, you're just like, you know what? We're gonna make this work. <laughs> this is my life. Okay. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> I thought better to myself, and I'm gonna move on to I'm gonna move back to my medium-sized brush for this part because. Yes, I'm lazy, but also at the same time, <laughs> I don't have all day. I got other lazy things to do. <laughs> okay. Yep, I'm pretty satisfied with that. All right, back to the small brush. Okay. And you know what, with this one, I'm just going to kind of leave it like a stump here. And um, I'm gonna add maybe like another branch coming out this way. All right, it's gonna go and interlap with that previous tree we made prior. The previous tree we made prior. Lovely grammar. All right. And I'm just going to connect that. Okay, I'm gonna probably do another line, like another trunk, like right around here somewhere. So I'm just gonna do that, add that in. And you can go ahead and add as many trunks as you want because you're, we're, what we're gonna do in the next step is we're gonna be adding a ton of leaves everywhere. Um, so when, you, when you're kind of laying it down first um, with your trees and whatnot, um, it's just gonna add like this really cool effect that there's like there's so much going on in the picture okay so i'm kind of going back in and i'm like i'm adding more like depth to some of my trees um again this this part is totally up to you but i just want to add a little bit more just one more more man more okay. and i'm not really gonna do much for these guys but again this is your painting you can do whatever you wish whatever your heart desires and you know what, I'm gonna probably add another tree, like right here. Okay, and that's just a line. A bit too crazy. Okay. okay. And you know what, we can always go back in later um, and, and add in more if we want to. So I think for now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the brush down, I'm gonna let this dry. Put the brush down and then we'll go back in and do our leaves yay painting is dry i'm gonna stand up for this part i'm so excited okay so now that we have our branches all done now it's time to bedazzle the hell out of this forest so <laughs> what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna take my medium-sized brush 
All right, I'm gonna get it nice and clean. Now what I'm gonna do is, let's see, what do we wanna work with first? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's do red. Um, so what I wanna do is I wanna take red, all right? And I wanna add a little bit of yellow. I just wanna make, I just wanna make like an, a semblance of an orange. Okay, and I'm just gonna take a little bit of white to just mute that down a little bit, okay? And you know what, a little bit more yellow wouldn't hurt. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so now that we have that color, now it's time to make our leaves. Leaves are purely just brush strokes, they're just a tap, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and start to add in my leaves. This is literally how I make my leaves, I just tap, okay? A brush stroke is a leaf, okay? All right, so I'm just gonna tap, tap, tap away. And I'm just going to add, keep adding this color all around. Like, I'm going to kind of do them in clusters. Like, I'm probably going to add, like, a little on the top over here. And then I'm probably going to add, like, another top layer over here somewhere. And I'm probably going to do some over here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm liking this. Okay, so. I don't want to do... I don't want to do too, too much red here because I have to go in with my yellow and um, I've mentioned this in pre previous videos, red is a very overpowering color. It can take over, it can literally take over, um, you know, whatever you're trying to do, um, like in terms of like adding colors and stuff. So it can be very, very powerful. So you want to be a little careful, okay? and. Of course, if you're a big fan of red and you don't really want to add any yellow, you just want to keep going with the red, just keep doing this same stroke, really, and just keep carrying it out, okay? This is your painting. You can do what you want, okay? All right, so. You know what, I think, um, I think that's good for now. I think what I'm gonna do now is gonna make this part dry. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add some yellow. Same brush, so we're gonna be using that medium-sized brush. I'm gonna get it nice and clean, okay? And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make, um, I'm gonna make yellow. <laughs> and when you're done making yellow, we're gonna add a little bit of uh, white to that. I know I'm like I'm I'm like literally four years old. I think everything like that is funny. Okay, so I'm just gonna make I'm just gonna make that yellow color here just like so. Okay, once I load my brush, then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to go ahead and add in that yellow. Okay, there is like little specks of red on this, which I kind of like. That's kind of like my personal preference. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and spread out that color. Now, don't worry if you're feeling like all of your branches are like disappearing and you know you'll never see them again. You can always add them back in. I'm just I'm just kind of adding in all these colors and um, just kind of creating this effect because later on we're gonna go back in and add in the branches, kind of like create that and go and create that illusion back in. So that's okay. Don't worry. It's okay. It's okay. Now I'm kind of going in front of some of the some of the branches and the and the trunks here um, with some of these colors. Okay, not too much, just a little bit. I want to lay the red down first. Um, just so I can have some, um, some like, of it peeking out from the yellow. 
but what I'm kind of feeling now is I, I want to I want to go back in and add in that red okay so what I'm just gonna do is I'm not even gonna clean my brush I'm gonna take some of that that red again and I'm just gonna go back in and go kind of kind of like get that to blend back in with the yellow It's so pretty when you can kind of get those colors to blend very nicely together. And I'm also gonna go ahead and make make a, an orange color. Right, so I'm just gonna add in a lot of yellow, a little bit of red, just a very tiny bit of red. So I'm gonna create that orange color. I'm gonna add some white to that. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and add in that orange. Also make sure to get some of that red on the top here. A couple there as well. Okay. I kind of want to add some darker tones to the to the leaves. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and take some red uh, and I'm gonna add it to that little bit of blue that I have okay um, if you don't have blue black will do just fine okay so and maybe I'm gonna take a tiny bit of yellow just a tiny bit tiny 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 bit okay so this is kind of like I don't know why but it reminds me of like of like a very like bougie lipstick like very like um, um, plum. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> oh, vocabulary words this morning. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a little bit and kind of disperse them here and there and everywhere. I don't want to do too much. I'm kind of thinking I'm like I want to kind of gravitate them towards like the corners here, just like so. Okay. So it's just to represent like the the kind of darker um, crevices of our forest here. Or a walkway, so I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of like uh, concentrating them around this area. Okay, maybe like a little bit over here. So over here. Okay, because now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in. Uh, Let's see. What do I want? What do I want to do? Do I want to wait? Okay. Maybe what we'll do is we'll we'll do we'll wait a little bit. You know what? No, I'm gonna add a little bit of of yellow. So I'm gonna go in with my yellow again. I'm gonna go add that back in. Okay. And I'm also kind of going in where we did the that maroon color, that plum. I'm just gonna add it in like little bursts. Okay, nothing crazy. Just like little bursts, little clusters here, little clusters here. Okay, and I'm just I'm just kind of thinking like, okay, you know what? Like it, it's all blending. It's all just like laying layers on top of layers on top of layers. That's really all that I'm doing here. Okay, so if you're not feeling something and you're like, you know what, um, this doesn't feel like populated enough, it doesn't feel like there's a lot going on here, 
just keep adding more colors on top like add add different layers of the colors okay so if you feel like oh man like i really could use a lot more red in here add different shades of red okay so like you know i added in the plum then i added in like that orange and now i'm just gonna go in and like just straight up add red okay and it totally changes the vibe. It totally changes the vibe of like your of your scene. There's like so much going on. And that's really what fall and like that's what like that's like what a November feel is. Like there's so much happening, there's so much going on. It's also my birthday month, so of course there's so much going on. You know, you got all like the you got all these colors, all these beautiful things happening. You know, I'm even gonna spread it on the landscape because why not? Okay. Okay, and uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go ahead and add some straight up white because I do want to create some like some I just want to like have the eye take a break every once in a while in the, in the trees. So I'm just gonna go up and add in some straight up white. I'm just gonna go in and do that. Gonna add little bits here and there. Okay, this is literally just—it's just colors. It's just a, I'm just playing with colors and I'm having a fun time with it. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this dry and then we're gonna go back in and add in our trees and our branches again. Okay, so now that we are dry, we are now ready to go ahead and add in back in our branches. So I'm just gonna go back in with my small brush, gonna get that nice and wet, dip it in my black, okay? And I'm literally just gonna go ahead and uh, just kind of add in those branches again where I lost them. Okay, again, remember the Y shape. And it's okay to kind of go over what you did with the yellow. Again, these are all just like, going back in layer after layer after layer, doing the same thing over and over again. After a while, painting does get like, you do hit like this repetitive um, point where you're like, oh, so I just have to do this over and over again. That's pretty much that. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and let's bring this back in here. A lot of this is poking through still from the leaves, which is good. Now, if you want to create some of that illusion, um, you don't have to like completely paint back in like a whole trunk. You can just kind of go in and um, like skip, you know what I mean? Like you can still leave a patch there, kind of skip it and just keep going. Okay. And same like with this, I'm just gonna kind of go skip a couple, just add a branch and like, like let that disappear again. Okay. Awesome. And um, 
Now what I'm going to do is I just want to add a couple more branches that I haven't added before. I just want to add them in and kind of like kind of reaching out. So again, I'm just just doing the same Y shape. Kind of spraying them out. And I got another branch that's going to just kind of come out of nowhere and just um create that effect that like there's a bigger tree coming out like a, that was a that was like a branch that had a tree um, attached to it like somewhere around here um, so that kind of got enveloped and probably gonna do another one here somewhere probably got another one right here somewhere here. So it really creates this like this really cool larger than life scene here. And once again, don't sweat it. Don't sweat it if it's not perfect. You know how to make leaves so you can cover those up. See, it's it's all it's all about knowing your weaknesses and like where you can where you can play with stuff and you know what what you can use for your advantage. Okay. Maybe just add like another branch like that. Okay, now last but not least, we're just gonna go back in and add a couple more leaves, okay? So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and add some, to add back some yellow leaves. Um, and I'm just gonna do it around like the new areas of branches that I made, just so it, it creates that appearance that like, you know, there it, this is like so, this is such like a big, um, expanse and there's like so many leaves just kind of covering this area okay so I'm kind of just going in at those edges and softening them up with the with the paint okay just like so I'm gonna go back in with some white actually and just create a bit more of that contrast. And kind of going in and covering some of that, some of the trunks with the color. Okay, so all in all, this is pretty much how you make this scene. Hey everybody, great job with your paintings. I hope that you enjoyed them and had just as much fun as I did making this. Be sure to like this video and to subscribe to my channel so that you'll see more videos in, from me in the future. I also wanted to say thank you all so much for supporting me in this channel. I hit 100 subscribers and I am beyond ecstatic. An encouraging sign that I should keep going and keep sharing my art and my creativity with you all so that you all can share and indulge in the creativity that is your, that is your world. This is Amanda the Buzz Artist and I just want to say I love you all and thank you so much for watching. See you soon for more videos. Bye!